Hey everyone, welcome back to Meldron Gaming, uh, episode 10 of Vanilla Wild Tutorials. Today we finally got there, we're actually going to do our first five-man dungeon. And the dungeon we're doing is Ragefire Chasm. Uh, JR is with us again. Say hi, JR. Hi, JR. <laughs> he's he's going to be running with us, and then we're going to be heading in now. Um, so a five-man dungeon, guys, is a five-man dungeon. So you have a party of five people, which consists of three damage dealers, one healer and one tank. Pretension here is our tank, um, and we're going to start pulling here. So what's happening is that Pretension is in defensive stance. She's also a warrior, and is keeping aggro for attention of the monster we're hitting right now. JR, myself, and the hunter back here are damage dealers. Our job is to kill things. The tank's job is to keep aggro. Our job is to kill stuff. So we're a little la we're a little laggy, but hopefully everything will be okay. So in the healer in the back, Poland here, this priest, job is to watch everybody's health and heal them when they get low. So <clears throat> I'm running. I'm not tanking this for a reason. I'm going to do my own tanking video very soon, where I'll be going over how tanking works, um, or at least warrior tanking. Um, so that'll be our our uh, our video for that. So for the so for a five man dungeon like Ragefire Chasm here, um, the goal is to just Clear the monsters. These are elites. They are not um, regular monsters as we would see in the world. They have a lot more health, a lot more, and they do a lot more damage. What makes them elites? If you notice, this monster is still level 15. But what makes them elites is that they have buff damage and buffed um, health. So you may ask yourself, why not just put higher mo higher level monsters in here? And the reason being is because so we can hit them. <clears throat> if these monsters were level 30 or 40 or whatever. We wouldn't be able to touch them. We'd miss every attack, and they'd uh, hit us for very, very. Uh, they'd probably hit us for more damage than they would normally. So the game. Uh, I'm not taking that. So the game keeps things the same level, but just boosts their hit points and damage so that we're able to actually attack them. So if you notice, the w one rule of, of, doing da of doing dungeons is always let the tank pull first. The tank needs to get initial threat on the monster, and your job is to just do damage to them job is not to get attention from them. So you want to wait, you want to give the tank at least two to three seconds, maybe even five seconds, to get initial aggro on the target, and then you should start attacking. So if you notice, we have a little lag spikes here. Um, shouldn't be a problem, but um, we're going to stay, keep recording. One more thing I'd like to talk about is um, we are also... I'm using add-ons. So I haven't talked about add-ons yet, and I want to have a video coming out Probably the next video I'm going to be covering is how to install add-ons. So you'll see I have a custom UI, I have damage meters, I have a threat meter down here that tells us who has the threat. So this is something that um, um, is also available to you guys. You can, you can customize the UI screen. So now we're just going to roll through here, and the tank is going to take uh, aggro from the monsters. Uh, JR, myself, and the hunter are going to do damage to each monster. and. We're going to just go from there. I also highly recommend when you're in a dungeon, guys, always select the tank and, and target who he is targeting, or she, he or she is targeting. If in a multi-mob pool where we're fighting more than one monster, it's going to help the tank out if everyone's focusing on the same monster he or she is focusing on. It just makes their job a lot easier. So I highly recommend doing that. Also, something you should do is if you have dungeon quests, so quests that are actually specific for a dungeon is to always share them, at least attempt to share them, with the rest of the group. This will ha let the other people in the group that may have may ha not have had the ability to get these um, to, to get these uh, quests the ability to actually take the quests. Give me a little intellect buff there, JR. <laughs> Picked up a scroll. Are you there? Yeah, the lag is horrible. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It takes a while to cast spells anyway, but doggone. 
All right, so this is our first multi-mob pull. So this is when, it, so yeah, this is going to be a little tough. So I'm going to try to focus on the person that she is focusing on, which is this one here. And as long as the healer keeps everybody up, we should be fine. That caster back there, we're not going to worry about right now. So I'm going to actually see if I can get aggro on him right now. Dag gone. It's taking forever to cast these spells. Almost two thousand. Almost two thousand latency. Yeah, I'm at two hundred right now. Uh, nineteen fifty nine, to be honest. Yeah, nineteen fifty nine is what okay. I'm on now. Gotcha. But, well, well, we'll get through it. All right. All right. Let's see what else we got here. So we got that that pull out of the way. Yeah. Now we have we're still two up here. For me. I'm actually going to focus on this caster here to help him out. I got my DC on. after this. Alright, so if you notice here, guys, uh, so the experience is shared between all five people. And the experience gains are actually pretty good. That's because these monsters are elites. Elites give more experience base than do normal monsters. Um, so what the tank is doing is it's trying to distance pull. So the tank is running over here and trying to pull that caster away. Um, but it's okay. So, we'll, it's, so now it's... Actually, I might try to distance pull. So I got, I got aggro on the shaman right now, which is fine. And I'll move him towards the tank so he can grab him off me. Like he just did there, he just taunted him off me. Okay. Always guys, if you're also, if you, well, we'll cover this more in the tanking video. But always keep an eye on your, on your healer's mana. His mana actually is pretty low right now, and the tank should really wait until pull before pulling. Which he kind of is. Um, so we have to hug the wall here because you don't want to aggro these guys on the, on the, on the left. Here it comes. So now I have aggro. So I'm going to try to run around. Okay, somebody took something off me, so that's good. Die here. Okay, that's good. I don't have aggro anymore. That's good. The healer just put a renew on me, which is a heal over time. I'm gonna hang back for a second while I get healed up. Okay. Now I start attacking again. So we're going to move through here, we're going to hug the wall, and I'm not sure if anyone needs... Well, one thing about the lag is I'm not using a lot of uh, mana. mana. <laughs> That's good. I only yeah. get like two spells off. Jared brings a really good point. Normally, if there's not lag, always if you're a mana user, you always want to try to bring some water with you. Um, because you're going to be running out of mana probably um, almost every pull normally, because you're going to use a lot of mana fighting mon monsters. Okay. 
There's a quest this way, but I don't think any of us have this quest, so there's really no point going this way. If they do have it, share it, please. 2,800 latency. Oh, we're going to fight it. Now we're on track. If you notice here on the uh, on the enemy, there's a lot of debuffs on the enemy, so. Um, dam you, when you're in a five-man group, it's done something to realize is the damage you see on the board is only your damage. Uh, other damage is happening to the monster. You only you only see with the damage that you inflict. So um, other people are putting out damage as well. So if you look at the damage meter over here, each colored bar represents. If you if you download the damage meter, so again this is an add-on, guys. So if you want an add-on. Watch my next video. We'll go over how to install add-ons. I think by this point in the game, you're probably comfortable enough where you can start messing with it a little bit. So this guy's immune to my Ren, so there's no point using it. Nice little crit there. So, Bio, this guy's gonna go to the bathroom real quick before we head on. <clears throat> yeah, so how poor is the damage output on mine? Uh, it's really hard to read these. You did 2,000 damage? 11% 11, 11 of the damage? Shit. That's just through dots. I haven't been able to do anything but dots. I know, yeah. Yeah, so if you if you start cranking out shadow bolts, it'll probably really go up there. So yeah, this is your this is the first five man dungeon that's available for Horde. Alliance, their five man dungeon is called the Dead Mines. It's in um, Westfall. Uh, Ragefire Chasm is located inside the city of Orgrimmar itself, so you actually can run into Orgrimmar and the, the instance is inside. So real quick, I want to talk about what instant dungeons are. And we have we have a veteran EverQuest player here, so that'll actually be great. So in EverQuest JR, if you might correct me if I'm wrong here, when EverQuest first came out, there were no instant dungeons, correct? There was world dungeons. Yeah. So what happened was back then dungeons were actually in the actual world. So if you didn't go in there with your party when no when no one else was there, you had to go in there, right? You had to beat the rest of the group, the rest of the crowd. Is that is that mm -hmm. gathering? Sometimes you had to, yeah. So, um, what WoW did to really circumvent that kind of problem, and EverQuest, of course, did create instances after a while, but what WoW did to correct that problem is called instant dungeons or instances. So instances are actually copies. So when we when we zone into this dungeon in this five-band Ragefire Chasm, it creates a copy of Ragefire Chasm. We are not interacting with the actual world of Warcraft right now. We're in the world, of course, but we're not in the main part of the World of Warcraft. Events are happening outside and not affecting us at all. Likewise, we are not affecting anything outside of the world. Us killing these monsters is not affecting anyone. There's no one else in this dungeon but, but us. So an instance is like a copy um, of a dungeon. So at the same time, there, may, there are multiple five-man groups in here at different, at different points of the progression through the dungeon, and we're not affecting each other. So this is what an instant dungeon is, or an instance. So when someone says an instance, they'll say they may say instance instead of dungeon. This is that's what they mean. It's still a dungeon. It's just a the type of dungeon. It's not a world dungeon. There are places within the world of Warcraft that are in the actual world that are dungeon-like. So they're full of elite monsters, 
An example is Pyrewood Village and Silver Pine Forest, so those are all elite monsters. You do not want to go in there by yourself. You want a five-man group. You will die if you go in there by yourself. So, there's a place in the Hinterlands. There's many examples of this within the game. <clears throat> so, why go into a dungeon? One, it gives you practice working with groups, and that's a very big part of Warcraft is working with groups. Um, secondly, you get pretty good experience um, for what you're doing, but the most important reason people go to dungeons is to get gear. So after every boss fight, uh, each boss is guaranteed to drop a green, I'm uh, sorry, a blue piece of loot, which is beyond green, it's, it's uh, rare. So green loot is uncommon, and blue loot is rare. They're not guaranteed to drop green loot, but some of them do. Some of them will drop blue and green. But a blue is always guaranteed to drop off a five-man dungeon boss. So that's a big upgrade for most people. It'd be a great upgrade for me and JR. So that's why we're in it. That's why we're doing this. Also, it's a lot more fun. It's, a, it's a different than questing. There are quests that are associated with dungeons, but you can do a dungeon without having, having a quest for the gear and for the experience. Okay. EverQuest was really the first MMORPG, and Warcraft took a lot of what EverQuest did and tried to um, either improve upon it or copy it. And one of the things they tried to improve upon was the dungeon system. So in, a, in a dungeons as well, <clears throat> the default system is group loot. Like we talked about that last video, group loot is loot is done in a round robin style, so that um, it cycles through. So the first loot, say, would be me. Second loot is Jr. Third is the tank. Fourth is the healer, and fifth is the hunter. Then it goes back to me again. Greens, of course, like that just dropped, can be needed and greeted upon. So Jr. would probably agree on that, or need on that. Excuse me, need on that. That looks pretty nice. Healer got it. So you see here, so the greed rolls don't matter. The two need rolls did. So Poland rolled a 36 and Malathion or JR rolled a 13. So that's why Poland gets it. So JR, on all these monsters, these orcs, make sure you loot them because they'll drop the quest items. Good, I only pulled one, that was good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another thing that I haven't been doing is I'm trying to talk to you guys is if you're a DPS, a melee DPS, if you're ranged, it doesn't matter. If you're JR, it doesn't have to be in front or in, or in back of the target to deal damage. If you're a melee DPS, the most important thing to realize is that you should really be standing in back of the target. The reason being is because they cannot, the target cannot dodge or parry your attacks if, you're, if they're not watching you. Um, so, something to keep in mind. Uh, when DPSing, melee DPSing, always stand behind the target. I'm still fighting. I want to need on this shotgun. Hunter, uh, so I needed on that shotgun because I can use guns. The hunter passed on it. However, if the, if the hunter needed it and I wanted it, I would have gave it to him because he needs it way more than I do. I only need it for pulling the monsters. The hunter actually needs it to do, to do damage. So that would, I would have traded that with the hunter if that, if that occurred. Closer you to Ding and JR? A bubble. Oh, nice. But now at this, this rate. This pull's gonna be tough. Yeah. Alright. We gotta really watch it on this one. Oh, what shit. We got? This is gonna we be got? bad. <laughs> What's he on? I'm going in the tank mode. He's got like five guys on him. <laughs> oh. This is probably gonna be our first wipe. So I'll go into tank mode for this one. Looks like we actually may have survived that. Jared, this uh, guy I'm jumping on right now has the book. Is that the other book? I'm locked. Okay, no problem. When, when, when you're done. Yeah, I only got one book so far, right? Yep. Healer's out of mana, so OOM, guys, but the healer just said OOM is uh, short for out of mana. So that means no more heals are going to be coming out for a while, but it's okay. We should be fine, we have one more to kill. And we, we did it. This one over here, JR, I'm jumping on him, if you can see me. Yep. Got it. Two books so far, yep. Yeah, we're done. That, that quest is over. And the next one is if you look across the lava into that center, that big dude, that's the yeah. that's that's the next quest. His heart. Oh, and the tank. Oh, the tank's over here. Okay. I thought the tank jumped in the lava for a second. What's that? I was gonna say the party's probably figuring, wondering why the heck the warlock is not uh, casting any spells or using any mana. Um. Okay, here we go. Hold the boss. Yep, here we go. Okay. 
So I stand corrected. You can be dodged from behind, you cannot be parried from behind, or blocked. So... And you can also miss, of course. <laughs> Which makes sense. So loot him for the heart. And then I'm gonna need on that uh, cloak, definitely. Last boss is over yonder, but we have to clear all these damn orcs first. Yeah, the lag is the lag is real. <laughs> yeah, it is. My instant cast has a. My instant cast has a cast time. Oh, because of the lag, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna start working on this. Oh, good, he ran in. Good. Okay. Okay, I'll see that. Uh, you're working on the caster first. The lock. Damn locks, so always should cause some trouble. Yeah, n not with the lag that I've got. <laughs> So, yeah, that's basically the, the thing behind Five Man Dungeons, is that <clears throat> the rule number one is you need a tank, you need a healer, and you need three DPS. Now, of course, you can run through a, lo a low-level dungeon to high level, you don't, you don't need all these people, but if you're running the lev if you're running a dungeon to get gear for your level, and you want to run with people around your level, um, so I suggest doing Rage Fire Chasm at 14 or 15. Our healer is a bit low, and so is our tank, but we seem to be doing great, so... this left side wall. Oops. 
So, I'm using Demoralizing Shout to reduce the damage that the tank's taking. Um, and I'm also trying to keep Battle Shout up as much as I can, because it benefits both me, the tank, and the Hunter's Pet, I believe, also gets it. Yes, it does. Okay. Did you ding? No. Nope. Oh, I thought you did. Congrats to somebody about who it was. It was the Hunter. That was me. Rats, sir. I need the key behind this blood rage. I use it all the time. I need a better mouse. I need a mouse with some, with some buttons on it. Yes, I've got one. It's not that great. smart by clearing this group first before we hit the boss. It was before he came in there his tank was really worried about tanking, but he's doing a great job. He or she is doing a great job. Insane. You want to scare? I can scare a couple off if you want. Nope. Well, I pulled two of them. <laughs> Sorry. I want to take the ad down. Let's focus on the ad. Still work, even though he pulled them off. We're still able to do it. Oh, there you go, Jr. Definitely need on that. <laughs> oh yeah. Hopefully you get it. I do too. That'd be nice. Oh, dude. Are you kidding me? You got both. Well, we could run it again if you want. After this, I'll tank it. Let's, uh, do we need the optional boss? Oh, 
Alright, I'm just... Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, well, the thing is... He... I got you and the healer, that's... I don't know where the other guys went. Yeah, they ran off. So there's an optional boss up here, guys. It's not optional. Someone needs a, it's a quest boss. Uh, he doesn't actually drop anything, I don't think, but we'll do it for the XP. So jump up here, JR. See where I'm standing? Yep. Come up here. And just walk up here. That was a nice robe. Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll run it again because I want to do tanking next. Hopefully it drops next time. Yeah, no biggie. It was a kind of a cloth drop, so... Oh my goodness. Lag. lag. Yeah, lagged out. Another offhand, but you don't have a one-hander, so. Uh, but the one I have is better, so if you. Yeah, I'll just greet it. Everybody greeted it. <laughs> I just didn't disenchant it. So five minute dungeons, guys, in my in my experience, can then take anywhere between a half hour to an hour and a half, depending on the dungeon. This one's kind of on the shorter end. However, we could spend a lot more time in here killing mobs. But in vanilla, I'd say that they, they, an average of an hour you're going to spend in a dungeon. Some of the larger dungeons, like Mardon, Dire Maul, you're going to spend maybe two hours in them. But um, it's called a man strat home. But some of them are so large that people only do portions of them. So in vanilla, there's a lot of dungeons. Um, I'd say there's probably around 15 or 20 of them. So, um, there's always a dungeon. No matter what level you are above, like, 13 or 14, there's going to be a dungeon all the way up to 60. And then at 60, you have raids. Raids are just, like, bigger dungeons, basically. Um, 
40 man dungeons and then when AQ 20 comes out there's a 20 man dungeon so imagine what we're doing but with 40 people so it's kind of crazy but alright let's see Do you see people moving, or are we just all standing still still? Okay. Yeah, all standing oh, okay. still. Fight's probably over by the time they wake up. Yeah. Okay, and there's Basilan. If you want to agree on need on that, she's an enchant. Yep, he's a is the uh, you Peter's got it. an enchanter too. Oh, you got it though. Uh, I finally, beat her at something. You see what I rolled? <laughs> oh my god, what a waste. I wanted that dock on it. What does it do? Minor, yeah, minor spear to bracer. That's pretty. That's not bad. Yeah. No, I sell to the priests. No, I can throw it on man too. So. All right, we're done. <clears throat> bad thing about <laughs> not bad, but the thing about vanilla dungeons is you can't just you got to run out. <laughs> we got to run all the way out. So we got to run back. I'm probably going to drop down here. Yeah, but... See the loot you missed. That was a really good group. Yeah, it was. And that's it. That's... That's how, uh... <laughs> That's how five-man dungeons work. I mean, there's going to be a lot harder dungeons. Uh, bosses are going to have a lot more difficult mechanics later on. A mechanic is something a boss does to try to kill you. Uh, there's a lot of different mechanics. There's damage over time mechanics. There's fear mechanics. There's um, AoE damage mechanics. There's everything you can think of. A AoE is area of effect, so not hitting a single target, but hitting a radius or circle of damage that's being done. So, <clears throat> don't stand in fire, guys. One thing you have to worry about this game is don't stand in stuff on the ground. There's not much of that in Vanilla as there is in later parts and later expansions, but... Don't forget to hug this wall over here, too, JR. I'll wait for you. Alright. Actually, are you ahead of me? I think I'm almost out. Oh, never mind. Duh. I'm the one trailing behind. <laughs> I 
Let's follow the bodies. Yup. Well, I pissed somebody off. Who? Oh, you didn't get loot. RN Jesus is not happy with you. Yep, somebody's mad at me. <laughs> now the shaman, there's a shaman mad at me. Why? Because I took a wrong turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, guys, with that, I'd like to thank you uh, on our five-man dungeon tutorial. Uh, again, there's a lot more dungeons in this game, so uh, definitely check those out. And uh, we'll be back. Oh, did you die? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jared's going to run all the way back. Yeah. So um, uh, with that, I'd like to thank you, uh, Jared, as well, for being here. So have a good one, guys. See you next time.